I call it the domino effect effect. <laughs> Hey there, what's up? Welcome yourself to the video blog of James Dates Card at Second. As I brought my video camera with me um, while I was hanging out, you know, living life, you know, um, just a good way to share things that happened to me with my friends um, and people that don't know me, that maybe my future friends, maybe my current enemies. You know, it's stuff with um, I did with my friends and my family. You know, it's things that happen to me, you know, and just want everyone to take a look through my eyes and see what's going on. So, you know, it's the first episode, and uh, I taped a whole lot of stuff, so we got a lot of episodes coming. Or So, cool, right? Cool. Totally cool. Before we jump into our first clip, I'll tell you that I recently got a new book. It is this book right here. It is Downtown Al by Chuck Klosterman. It just dropped the other day. He's my favorite author. And I'm not too far into it. But it's pretty good. I like it. Whatever. So, now time for our first segment. It's going to be awesome. Just wait. Here it comes. So, every year, my family... Yeah, I'm talking to you. Every year, my family... Every year, my family celebrates July 5th, the day after the 4th of July. It's really important in our family. And um, so we have a big party to celebrate it. And uh, I recorded some of it. Here it is. He heard the splash and got spooked. Um. He's like a real fraidy cat. Why is he afraid of him? I don't know why he's afraid of cat. He's so cats. beautiful. Uh, I love him. <laughs> I don't know why he's afraid of cats. Now you're a really good actor, aren't you? Well, thank you. <laughs> You want to be in the band with these guys? Oh yeah, man. Punk rock. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm in there, bro. Yeah. Put this job, punk. Get your fuck. Shut this up, yeah. Fuck you, y'all. Fuck you, y'all. What? What this job? Fuck you, doing what? You your job. What is it you like about yourself most? My nipples. <laughs> Straight to the brain. There you go, straight to the brain. <laughs> yeah, the other brain. Can I go by? Yeah, hold on. Mom, hold on. Yeah, mom, you can go by. Run, 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 run! No. <laughs> just splendid wasn't it it was um, we actually have a bonus video that features my neighbor Chili reminiscing about his childhood friend Glenn Danzig um, it was so much good stuff that I didn't want to cut it out or condense it so it's like it's like a five-minute video of just him talking about just childhood memories of Glenn Danzig and uh, speaking of which I have here right now Probably the best CD from Danzig. Danzig 2. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet disc. Um, I suggest you go pick this up if you don't have this one yet. Don't download it because you take this out here and you see you unfold it. And it unfolds into an inverted cross if you can get it to stay out. I sort of can. There, you know, there, of course, is Glenn. 
clutching another inverted cross with the Danzig logo. This is the classic Danzig lineup as well. I always get these two guys confused. One is John Christ, one's Erie Vaughn. But this is definitely Chuck Biscuits right here. Read this, you know, thing in there. You got all that. You get some hairy nipples. It's really good. So check that video out. Also, don't forget to check out the Even James as a Podcast podcast. That's the uh, audio podcast that um, I do with um, my co-host Young Mark and sometimes uh, Tex, a.k.a. Tex Meter. And, um, you know, we play some sweet music. Episode 24 just went up. We played uh, New Heavy Heavy Low Low, which is an amazing album. Which I had that CD candy, I would show it to you. Should pick that up. Um, play lots of other sweet music and uh, talk a lot of crazy shit, man. So uh, check that out and um, stay tuned to the next episode. Wow. Hi, we're out here in the woods. I heard there was this guy that died, and then he became a corpse, and then he became a skeleton, and then he became the even James the Podcast podcast corpse skeleton. I hear he's out here. <laughs> That's what friends are for.